I'm Simon de Puri, chairman of Philips de Puri and Company. It gives me an immense pleasure to stand here in front of what is probably one of Basquiat's best works ever done. We had the privilege at Philips de Puri and Company a few years back to sell another great work by him, the famous Fallen Angel. But here we have a work done in 1981. That is possibly the best year for Basquiat. He was only 21 years old, and already he was a megastar of the art scene. His personality, his extraordinary looks, all of this contributed to him already being a mythical figure during his far too short lifetime. As a young man, Basquiat was given a copy of the Grey Anatomy, and he was fascinated by these images of bodies where you saw the inside and the outside. And these are elements that had, of course, an influence on his work. You see this extraordinary color range used in this work, which is in a way unusual for Basquiat because we know him mostly for his predominant use of black, red, and white. Here you do have black, red, and white, but you have these gorgeous lavender colors, this amazing yellow, this light green, this turquoise, all of these extraordinary color combinations. Also, the technique is incredible because he uses spray paint, a technique he was familiar with from his days as a street artist when he was much younger. It is said that this could possibly be a self-portrait by Basquiat. You have the radiance of the crown. You have the ecstasy, the agony of this young creator. And it is definitely one of the great masterworks of expressionist paintings. Basquiat had a far too short life, but at the same time used this short lifespan to produce phenomenally powerful work that moves us to the core.